In this video, I'm going to cover how to use Legolo NG to pivot through a network. So, first thing you need to do is go to their GitHub. Um, you can read up on it if you want, and you can Google plenty of stuff on Legolo NG, but for the sake of demonstrating this, what you need are the releases. So, you can click on releases here. I already have it open in another tab. Uh, for this, I downloaded the 6. Point, yeah, the 0.6.2. You just need to grab whatever it is that you need for your environment. For this, I am going from a Kali machine and I'm going to pivot through an Ubuntu through a Windows. So I have a, a Linux proxy, a Linux agent, and a Windows agent that are applicable to uh, for, for what I'm running here. <clears throat> so grab what you need, download it to your machine. Um, the environment that I am running, so this is what it looks like. Um, this is how the lab I have set up with VirtualBox, and it's simply yep, a Kali VM um, that can communicate to an external host. That external host uh, is dual um, network interfaces, so one IP or one subnet is designed to communicate externally. The other one is for internal communications with an internal network one that um, for this lab has a domain controller on it. That host is also um, dual NIC. There are you know, two network interfaces here. Um, one, again, can communicate to that external host, and one can communicate internally to a second network. Um, and what we're going to do here is just start here um, with a proxy, a, a logo low proxy running. Um, and again, the assumption is that you compromise these machines, perform post exploitation, and then you know, through the information you've obtained, you want to pivot to somewhere else in the network. So I'm not going through any of that. It's assumed that you can do that or, or you just find another YouTube video or something on that. But um, we're going to we'll set up an agent here um, and then we'll eventually set up another agent here and then we can eventually reach this um, end target here, which is on the 172.16.00 subnet. So in my terminal, I have a couple tabs open, and in here I've already done some stuff. So I've already downloaded, like I said, the proxy that I'm going to run here on my Kali machine. The agent I've already moved to this compromised host. So that first host uh, that I've compromised, I've already moved that agent there, and um, I've changed permissions on it. So what we'll do too is we'll jump over to this pivot test and just run nmap um, against some ports that I know are open. Um, so if we get like filtered or closed or whatever, um, that's not good, right? But generally, you know, um, if the pivoting isn't working, I'll get a, a, a filtered uh, response. Whereas if it was working, I'd get an open. So that's that's what I'm going to be using as the basis of my testing here. Um, so to start this out, the first thing we'll need to do is set up or basically create an interface for Lego to run on. Um, so I've already run this a few times, just you know, messing around. So a lot of this stuff is going to just want to auto-complete anyway. But that's going to be my first interface that I'm going to create is Legolo. Um, and then after that, I'm going to I want to put it in up status. So again, sudo ip link set, and let me just get rid of the double because that'll come into play later. Excuse me, and that there we go. That's that's essentially what we need to, to get things started. Um, so up here, I'm going to just start the proxy. So again, I'm I'm starting this proxy. I'm using a self-signed cert, which is no big deal in my own lab environment. But if um, if you wanted, you could actually use um, a true TLS cert to do your thing. <clears throat> um, but I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see that the proxy is running, it's listening on any, and it's already bound to a port of 11601. Okay, so now again, I've already transferred the agent over. We need to connect this agent back to this proxy server. Um, so to do that, just going to come over here and run the agent, which again would be this right here. This. Um, was moved over earlier and so agent I'm going to connect and I want it to connect back to my Kali machine which is a 1.4 and I just need to make sure that I use that port of 11601 that's already been bound okay so 
11601, and then because I used a self signed cert, I'm going to pass along the ignore cert and hit enter. <clears throat> and again, um, it already tells you don't use self signed certs. I'm in a trusted environment, um, so I'm fine using a self signed cert. Um, so just make sure you're using whatever you need to within your own environment. I'm going to enter here. I'm, so I just clicked inside the proxy. I'm going to enter just to clean things up some. But you can see that I now have ran the agent and I've established a connection with that agent back to the Logolo proxy running on my Kali machine. Okay, so that's all good, right? We have uh, some connectivity. Nothing seems to be erroring out. Um, so now what we need to do though is establish um, a session so we can list out those sessions by writing or typing in session hit enter and if you had more than one you'd see a bunch and you could scroll up and down using your arrows like it tells you since there's this one i just can hit enter and you can see now that i've transferred into a session with that compromised machine so from here what i can do is i can run commands like if config um, to then find out those interfaces and stuff um, now before I go any further, so well, let me scroll back up. So like we showed, in the, like I showed you in the diagram here, right? Um, I can see that this is the interface that's externally facing, and this is an internal interface. And I can see that it's been assigned an IP address of 10.10.8.9, um, and it's in a slash 24. Um, so before I go, let me just double check. Um, you know. I already know the IP addresses, but again, you'd already performed some post exploitation here to identify what other hosts are within the subnet. Um, but I already know there's one like a 10.10.8.8, .10 .8 .8, and that's the domain controller. So let me first go make sure that I have that turned on. Okay, so it's on. Let me just verify that I cannot get to it. And it's a domain controller, so port 8088 should be good. And yeah, it shows filtered. So now let's go back, let's finish up what I need to do here. So we have this session, I identify a subnet that I want to pivot into and I want to be able to, to easily just use my Kali machine to, to uh, perform enumeration and everything else I need to do for my assessment, right? So I can go back down to this window here and what I need to do is create a, a route. So I can sudo ip route add and again it's kind of already completing so let me just go back in here um so a couple ways you can do this and i'm just going to make sure that i don't fat finger this i'm going to scroll back up um i don't need the dot nine so i'm going to take the first three octets that i do need copy that go back down here paste it in so now I have a 10, 10, 8, 0, slash 24 subnet. That's where I want the route. Hit enter. So now I have a route going there. Um, so now I can jump right back up into the proxy. And as long as everything's set up right, which it should, I should just have to hit start. And it's going to start a tunnel. So now I can go back to my, my test here, run nmap, and see if it worked. So now I'm receiving that port 8080. 88 is open so it now looks like my my you know my tunnel my my pivot here has worked i can touch this internal subnet so now i should be able to start poking around here right and, and looking at stuff so now that's where we're at so we use this host to pivot into this network and now you can start enumerating internal network one and perform whatever it is you got to perform there Okay, so now we're just going to jump ahead. So we've done a lot of things. We've compromised this domain controller. So now I'm just going to RDP into that domain controller. Whoop. There we go. Let's bring that over. Hit enter. And let that do its thing. Let me jump back to Legolo so we can see this here, though. Okay, so I'm just going to open up this SMB folder that I have. And I'm dragging this windows agent over that I already have and I'm going to open a command prompt I'm going to then move into the desktop and yep it's there right okay so now let's jump back into Kali so we can set everything up for what we're going to call the double pivot um, so let me clean up this bottom window here and this is where we're going to add another interface for the double pivot right so Let's go ton tap. I can just go to the end here and I'm just going to give it a double. 
um, name it whatever you want, but I just do it double, hit enter, and now I need to bring that interface up like I did before. <clears throat> and let's go give it a double up. So we're all set there. Okay, so now we need to go back to the proxy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up an agent. So um, hit enter a couple times to clean that up if you want. And then to, to create a, a listener, we're just going to listener underscore add. And we're going to give it uh, an address of whoop, any. And bind it to that one port, which is 11601. And we want it going to local. And bind it to that same one. So 11601. And we want it over TCP. And I messed up something somewhere. Let me double check. Listener underscore. And it doesn't like that. Oh, well, duh. Okay. There we go. Up arrow. And I forgot to put the two here. Okay, so, yep. Let me just double check. Add address to enter. Should be good. Okay. So now it's created my remote agent. So basically what we're doing here, this listener add, um, let me go here, it might be easier to explain it here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a listener here on this host that's going to be listening on any, and it has that, that same port, right? So when we do that, we, can, we basically connect an agent here, we're going to connect it to this IP address here that's going to be listening on that port that port that any is listening on so when that comes in it's then going to forward it back to this machine on local at the same port if that makes sense okay so um let me just make sure where we at here so we can check the listeners just to make sure they're, they're set up right so listener list and we can we can see this again so yeah again um any and it's getting redirected back to the cali machine listening here okay so <clears throat> Let's bring that RDP session back up, and now we're going to run this agent. So, kind of similar to how it was ran before, um, but again, this is going to go back to that other interface, right? So, 10.10.8.9, we're going here. That's where we want to connect to. So, this host is connecting to this IP here, right? Um, so, dun -dun, and we just need to make sure we give it that same port, 11601, and then ignore cert again. Move my cursor, and looks good, hit enter, and it does not like that. Um, oh, let's make sure that didn't go anywhere, yep. Yeah. So, agent, yep, yeah, XE, connect. One one six zero one and ignore cert. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Duh. There we go. And that doesn't like it either. Oh, hold on. I see. How do I have an L there? We're going to get this eventually. Okay, up arrow. Get rid of this L. <laughs> and we're good. Okay, so now, now we have a connection established here. Um, we can see that it also populated here um, within the proxy on Kali, right? So now I can go in here, I can click in here and enter, clean it up a little bit if I want. Um, and then we can, like we did before, session. And now we have more than one session, so I can, you know, just use my arrows. I want to select that Star Wars administrator session. Hit enter. And now you can see that the agent has changed. So now everything is going here. So if I wanted to, I can if config again. And I can see the different interfaces. Let's just do a quick test. So the other IP is a dot five. Um, I should not be able to reach that one yet. So let's go check. I know port 80 is open. Um, so let's see if it's filtered or open. It's filtered. Okay, good. So now let me jump back to here. Um, so again, kind of like the same steps did before. Um, so 
we've got an agent connected and now I've connected to that session. Um, so now we need to go ahead and start a, a um, we can start a tunnel to that with the tunnel underscore start and ton. And the name of it is Legolo double, right? Uh, that's the name of the interface. And it should be right. Let me double check tunnel start dash dash ton. Yep. All right, cool. So it's starting. I can enter to clean that up. And then down here in this window, we just need to make sure we have the route. So sudo IP route. Um, and then I can just go back through here again. I know that's a zero. And I can just do this really quick. And go to the end. Totally, yep. The go low double. So just make sure that the route add is going to the correct subnet and the correct interface, hit enter, and we should be good. So we've got the, the tunnels already started. We have a route, um, you know, if you wanted, you could up arrow and check and see that, yep, it's already running. Um, and now we can double check it again with nmap, and there we go. So now we can reach and we can touch that final interface, right? So that final network. And so port 80 is open. If I wanted to, I could just go straight to that. And that's what 0 0.5 on 80 and we can just start doing our thing again okay so that's that's pivoting with Legolo NG um, very versatile tool super uh, easy to use I guess once you figure things out but I mean it removes having to set up a SOX proxy it removes having to use proxy chains um, all of which can kind of get kind of cumbersome as you're trying to work through multiple pivots. Um, so again, this was just a double pivot, but to just keep going with pivoting, it, it would be nothing more than adding um, agents to those compromised machines and then connecting everything back. Um, you can set up listeners all day long. You can do set up listeners to do file transfers. You can connect Metasploit, Metasploit um, you know, or any other type of really reverse shells, payloads, and, and stuff back. To your attack machine using Logolo. Um, so all stuff worth researching on your own and um, this demonstrated how you can do some pivoting with Logolo and I hope you found it helpful.